Hi everybody. Today what I'm looking at is the logos of the two teams that Josh played for, the, the uh, Homestead Greys and the Pittsburgh Crawfords. And I've done two very quick and crude um, drawings of, of both the logos. Uh, you can see the there's the Crawfords logo there, really, really nice, crisp. Um, but what I'm looking at really, or what I'm thinking about, is the colours. Um, but how I might include those logos into my baseball card design, um, whether they can be incorporated somewhere. Yesterday I had this diamond that I took from another card, which I really like. And of course, you can see that's a very familiar thing that comes up a lot in baseball iconography, of course. And um, yeah, certainly there's, there's something to think about there, whether I can incorporate it behind or somewhere in the design. It could be even something like... Uh, one of these ones here where it could be that the diamonds behind the player behind Josh so what I'm trying to do is is keep branching out and keep moving the idea on and thinking about other elements kind of ingredients I guess that I can put into this and um, make the final design richer and stronger um, in every single way here I'm um, trying to put those things together so I've got my logos and I'm just having a little play around with ideas of visually how they could how they could sit this one with the H and the C kind of interlocking, um, and then somehow Josh appearing between them. Um, this one we've got the diamond from the Pittsburgh Crawford's logo. I've got this this kind of curve shape from a Hideki Matsui card that I was looking at earlier. This one here. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. So I was thinking about if that could come in somewhere on a design. Um, but it's really trying to get the H in, or the grace. Um, and also, it's, it, I don't want to shoehorn things in for the sake of it. I don't want to have it. I don't want to force things. So what I think I've got to do next, in the next few days, start looking more specifically at the pictures of Josh that I want to use. Like you can see, this one's very long and thin. And that leaves a lot of space. That leaves a lot of gaps. So then you've got to work out what you're going to fill the gaps with. Uh, on your on your paper, on your page, on your canvas or screen, whatever you're designing on. Um, so next I need to probably start looking at the images that I want to use, narrow that down, and then I can actually start, again, going back through all the elements that I want to include and putting them, putting them together, maybe on Photoshop. 